Welcome back to IMDb Live here at New York Comic Con 2017. And check it out, it's Cast of the Walking Dead. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Austin, Caitlin, and Tom. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, most folks know them better by their names in the show. We're talking to Dwight, we're talking to Eden, we're talking to Jesus, but we're talking to the character, the people that actually play those characters. How has your year been? I, I caught up last week with the last six episodes of last season. Holy fuck, was my sphincter tight the whole time. Uh, they just, they give you no mercy. From the moment they introduced, like, uh, Negan in that episode where, to, where, where uh, Lucille swang, it's, it's been a terror the whole time. But it looks like finally we've seen some movement and the war is about to begin. How was last season for all of you guys? Start over there. I think, I think you said it perfectly. Uh, it, it's been fucking crazy the, the whole season. I mean, it's all out war. Um, I think it's probably the most action-packed season we've had yet. Um, and the stakes are extremely high every second of every episode. And, um, but like physically and emotionally, I think it's, it's been the most intense season for me personally. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, I mean, it's, you know, straight rock and roll the whole time. How long does this affair take when they have to put uh, on the prosthetic? My makeup takes uh, a couple hours and then uh, about 30 minutes to get it off. So a lot of coffee. By the time I get out of there, I've got like four coffees in me and I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'd just be smoking weed the whole time, man. Yeah, well, I'd probably get kicked off. but That helps as well. Um, what about you kids? Uh, well, I think, um, I think this season is a big pressure release from last season. Last season was kind of a bummer for everyone. I mean, the actors as well, it was just like, wow, we're just getting our asses kicked the whole season. Uh, and that kind of sucks. And the, the audience is so used to seeing Rick and the gang kick ass and then to see him like, like see everyone like downtrodden like they were that whole season was, was tough. But this season coming back in, um, the fight is coming back and like Austin said, Everyone, you know, even in the cast as well, everyone was so pumped to get back that first episode. I've never seen Andrew Lincoln so happy um, to be firing, firing off rounds off camera when he didn't need to be. Like, it was just, it was a lot of, um, yeah. Pressure every every time I see Andy, this whole scene, I mean, he's so pumped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just so psyched to be there. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, you and I met on the couch at Talking Dead. Yeah. And you and I met on the couch we talking did. dead. And usually when you meet someone on the couch talking dead, it means they're fucking dead on the show. Yeah. But that was just to... Yeah, we uh, made it. You hey. made it so far, man. So how's it feel to make it this deep into the run? And do you fear that moment where they're like, yeah, here's the script. Oh, every second. Every <laughs> second of my day. And whenever it's a call from Scott, I think everyone's always just like, oh, no. <laughs> right. you're, the, you're, the longer, you're the longest out of... All three of us, right? Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, I don't know how I made it. I survived through everything that Alexandria was put through. I mean, all the kids in Alexandria are dead, except for me. I was like the only one that made it out alive. So I'm, Eden's a really strong character though, and I think that's kind of why she's able to survive. I mean, just survive somehow, JSS. Like she yes. lives by that motto, so. Do you meet a lot of people that put that on themselves and oh, stuff? Oh yeah, tattoos. I would everywhere. imagine. I mean, it's a strong meaning, and it doesn't it doesn't just apply to the apocalypse. It applies to real world. Every day. Every every everything you go through every single day. You know, just get through it somehow. Now you guys are coming up on episode 100. That's what kicks off the season, yeah. and I think they're doing a, a what a Madison Square Garden screening tonight, and then there's a premiere in Los Angeles, right? They're doing it outdoors at the Greek or something like that. Um, what's it like to be caught up in the world's most popular show? Like, wherever you go in life, do people instantly recognize you at this point? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a very surreal feeling uh, because once you get on the show, you don't really have time to think about that. You know, as soon as you get on, you got a week until you go down to Georgia and then you're fucking thrown in the mix and, and then you're off to the races and you film the whole season and you're done. And, it feel, and, and, and it's crazy too because it feels like, like when I first got down there, mm -hmm. it feels like you're shooting like a small short in the woods, but like with really good cinematographers and people who know what they're fucking doing. Right. And so, I, I, I mean, I, and I'm saying that because it's, it's such a close family and everyone's so close on the show you don't really feel the international uh, fan base, or you don't, you know, until you get out of the, the season and you walk around and people are like, are you, 
And you're like, oh my God, that's right. We're filming for The Walking Dead, the number one show in the entire world yeah. that's ever been on TV, you know? So. Do you meet the fans who are like, hey man, I fucking hate you, what you do? Like, they don't like your character. Yeah, I've gotten both, big time. Uh, just do you have to explain I, to those people, you're like, it's a job, dude, I'm not that guy. Yeah, and well, you, I, I get a lot, I, I, I mean, I get a lot of like middle fingers from afar, you know? And <laughs> really? Yeah. I was yeah. one of them. I was like, fuck you, Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone was at some point, right? We do those like little conventions and people would just walk by and just be like, all right. And I'm like, all right, I'm, it's not me, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty surreal to be on this show and amazing. Tom, Tom what do you do? Between seasons, do you do like productions of Godspell and Jesus Christ Superstar? Between, what 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 do you do while you're waiting to go I back mean, to the Walking Dead? It's a limited list. I'm like <laughs> I could play like a drug addict, like some kind of hobo, or, like something, uh, and that's basically what I've told my agents. I'm like, listen, just find me like a scene in a cool art house film, and I'll do that. Um, the thing this is, has to stay on, right? You can't really take it down between. It, it scenes. doesn't have to, but it makes my life a hell of a lot easier when we're shooting. And they tell us at the end, they're like, "Listen, if we have to do reshoots, like, don't make any drastic changes." And by the and by until the end of February, but then by the time it gets to the end of February, there's only a few months before we go back, so there's no point really. Um, so you know, I'm just Jesus for however long they want me, <laughs> which is you know, which is fine by me. There are much worse things uh, to be. The long hair is pretty annoying. Um, I find a lot of my time you is taken up. You could be a really good hair model. Long, yeah, if someone will hire me. I yeah. would. I'd hire you. That's another job. Oh, thanks. You'll hire me. That's um, how you could spend between seasons hiring each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, basically. What about you, Kay? What do you do when you're not walking with the dead? Um, well, I go to school. Or that's oh, my God, I've that's right. How old are you? I just turned 18 in June. So right on, now man. I'm so wait, what are, you, are you going to college now? Yeah. So did you have a high school graduation? Yeah, I went to a public high school and everything. So While you were shooting? While I was shooting, right yeah. On, I was man. just, like, sick a lot, right. you know? <laughs> They're like, yeah, you're sick. We saw you kissing that boy. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't good after that. <laughs> what was, uh, is that a review of Kissing Carl? Wasn't good after that. <laughs> <laughs> What uh, was it like at, sc at school for you? I mean, heavens, you must be insanely popular. You walk on campus, they're like, you're in that show. No, no one knows me. I, the funny thing, though, was we had, you know how high school has superlatives? And then I got uh, most likely to succeed. So, I back superlative. That. Hey. I mean, that's kind of like on the nose prediction. <laughs> like, I could have wrote currently I'm succeeding. I'm pretty happy where I am right now. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. man. Uh, when does it come back? At, uh, October 22nd. October 22nd. I believe is uh, the return of The Walking Dead. But if you're here in town tonight, they're having a screening at Madison Square Garden at the theater, man. You can watch it live with the cast. Give it up for the folks from The Walking Dead, ladies and gentlemen.